Have you ever wandered around in the pine forests from the mountains of Europe? As the name suggests, they consist mostly of pine species. And one of them we are going to discuss today, namely Abius alba. Abius alba, or the silver fir if you prefer, belongs to the Pinacea. The Pinacea means pine family and they are a subgroup of gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are the trees that use cones rather than flowers for their reproductive system. Let's find one. The silver fir can be 45 to 50 meters long and its stem can be nearly as 2 meters wide. However, obviously this one at the Botanical Garden at the University of Utrecht isn't that big. The bark is smooth and grayish like. Its branches are grayish pale or a little brown and they are grooved, which you can see here. The leaves are grey or greyish, which you can see right here. The leaves are nearly three centimeters in length and have a unique notch at the apex. The cones are 10 to 20 centimeters long and 3 to 4 centimeters wide, as we can see. Each scale has an exerted breath and two winged seeds. So, Abius alba. If I'm correctly, alba is Latin for white. But this tree isn't white. So, why alba? Well, should we cut this tree down, we can see that the woody parts are actually white in color making this a very valuable species, as it is often used for furniture. As can be seen on this picture, Abius alba is native to European mountain habitats. It occurs naturally from the Pyrenees to the Black Sea, but this wasn't always the case. During the last glacial maximum, or ice age if you prefer, both the northern and southern hemispheres were partially wrapped in thick ice sheets. Hence, these ice sheets forced the vegetation to seek refuge elsewhere. These so-called refugia for Abius alba were the Pyrenees, the southern Apennine Peninsula, and the southern Balkan Peninsula. Due to the isolation, some genetic differentiation was possible in these populations. When the ice sheets retreated, they created new available niches. Therefore, during the Holocene, distribution to the north was once again possible and resulted in the mountain pine forest of central and southern Europe we see today. Sadly, the population of the silver firs nowadays is decreasing, but only in a few areas. The silver fir was traditionally used as a Christmas tree or as decorative elements in parks and gardens, though today it is mostly replaced by other pine species for this purpose. Its wood is used for the production of pulpwood from which paper and plywood can be made. It is also used for simple building constructions and furniture. Its resin is used for the production of turpentine, varnishes, various medicinal and cosmetic products, including perfume, bath oils and air fresheners. The branches, including the leaves, bark and wood, are used since the Vikings wandered around the world for the production of spruce beer. It can also be made into forest scented tea and soft drinks. It is considered a good environmental indicator as it is sensitive to pollution and climate change. It is listed as a threatened species in the IUCN Red List, although it is rated as least concern. So, should you ever walk within the mountains of Europe, keep an eye out for this magnificent tree, or should you buy products made from them, enjoy them. <laughs>